the Northern Lights, a spectacular display in the sky. And you may have heard the chance of seeing them was further south than usual this past weekend. But not much was seen across northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. When 15 meteorologist Nathan Gidley breaks down why the Northern Lights Saturday night never really materialized. Yeah, let's go ahead and debunk why our chance to view the Northern Lights this past weekend really went by the wayside. First, we'll start with some definitions. The Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights form as a result of electrons colliding with Earth's atmosphere. This energy is from the sun, and the release of this energy produces light. Now, this energy came courtesy of a coronal mass ejection, which is a large expulsion of plasma and magnetic field from the sun's corona. And it can move very quickly, heading toward the Earth, ranging in speed from 250 kilometers per second to 3,000 kilometers per second. Now, when this coronal mass ejection interacts with the Earth and produces a geomagnetic storm. The NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center has a scale to rank these geomagnetic storms from G1 to G5. Most of these storms fall in the G1 to G3 category, and we were forecasting a G3 geomagnetic storm this past weekend. Occasionally, it can get all the way up to G5, but it is pretty rare, and the aurora can be seen as far south as Florida and southern Texas and produce extreme impacts to power grids, radios, and satellite technology. Now, this was our forecast this past weekend for the northern lights from Saturday night through Sunday morning. The best chance was north of our area, but there was this lower chance through northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. But what actually happened? Well, the coronal mass ejection was slower as it arrived around daybreak, meaning the daylight would have spoiled the chance to view the aurora. Now, the mass coronal mass ejection was less of a direct hit to the Earth as well. And this resulted in only a G1 geomagnetic storm, so the impacts overall were relatively minor, and there were a number of clouds in the sky. Now, what is this that we saw, though, from our Dry Dock and Marine Center Lake James camera on Saturday night? Was this the northern light? You see a little bit of a green tint to the sky amongst the clouds. Not sure if this was the northern lights, but definitely a very interesting sight. If you think you may have seen the northern lights, let us know on our reported feature or send us a message on our social media channels. What's next, though, on our radar? Well, we do have a partial lunar eclipse set to arrive on November 19th. It begins at 2.18 a.m. in the early morning hours and maximizes around 4.02 a.m. It'll end around 5. 47 a.m. So hopefully we'll see some clear skies for this eclipse. For more information on the Northern Lights, check out this story on Wayne.com. Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.